Welcome to your first set of um, notes for the flipped classroom. Uh, today we are going to be talking about matter and energy and this is the first of a three-part series in notes and the focus on today's notes are going to be on elements and compounds. There we go. Um, so the big idea here, this is what you want to write down as kind of the heading for your notes. Um, the title there says mixtures, elements, and compounds, and we won't really be talking about mixtures quite yet. We'll get into that in the next set of notes. Um, today, the focus is on elements and compounds, and um, the big idea here is that all matter is classified as either an element, a compound, or a mixture. Um, you have been working with elements in the first lab that you did. Um, you did some observations with those elements. You've been working with elements and compounds in this second ongoing lab that we're working on. and. Um, Hopefully, you're starting to see some ways to distinguish between the two, which is the point of all of this. So matter um, is basically, this is just a, a nuts and bolts definition of matter. It's anything that has mass and takes up space. Um, mass we measure with the scale there that you can see in the diagram. And um, space or volume is measured with a cylinder, or you could um, use some sort of length measuring device like a ruler, measure three sides of something, and then um, multiply those three sides to get the volume. Um, <clears throat> with the graduated cylinder, we're doing what's known as a displacement volume measurement. Photon of light is not considered matter. It's considered energy. It's not matter because it does not have mass and it does not take up any space. So that's an example of something that's not matter. Um, Chemistry is basically the study of how things combine and interact or react uh, to form new compounds. And um, that's what this is all about. Um, energy is always involved in reactions. It's needed to break bonds. It's released when bonds form. Um, you have been seeing some examples of those energy changes in the labs that you've been doing recently. And we're starting to look at whether that energy is being released or whether energy is going into um, that reaction to form new things. Okay. So we look at elements and compounds as pure substances. Okay, and pure substances are made of only one type of particle. By particle, that could be an atom or a molecule um, or a formula unit. 